Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' Miss Cracking. It's D. Boss for your ex is vid by Lista. It's titled Hip Hop's Love Hate Relationship with Kai Sinet. Oh, people hate him? I don't recall seeing anybody like give that hateful energy except Kanye. <laughs> but I feel like everybody has shown love to Kai within the hip hop industry. But. Maybe there's something I'm missing. Let's see what he has to say. Let's watch. Streamers and YouTubers have soared into the mainstream in recent years, mm -hmm. crossing new thresholds left and right. But there is one content creator who stands tall above the rest in his explosive, undeniable influence, especially when it comes to the rap game. From industry giants like Drake nodding to him on his songs. Drake is still taking pictures on a golf stream. My you is richer than you rappers and they all stream. I really hate that you were selling them some false dream. To legends like Kanye publicly dubbing him a fraud. So he's an industry fan. Of course he's an absolute total fucking... It's hard to deny the chill that Kai Sana has on hip hop. However, while appearing on his stream might seem like a golden opportunity for rappers to promote their brand, merch, or music releases, there's a catch. The streamer is known to be insanely blunt, and his brutally honest opinions can sometimes lead to things going south, as he never compromises his integrity or tries to be anything other than himself. It's your boy Luesta, and this is Hip Hop's love-hate relationship with Kai Sinat. But before we dive into why some artists can't stand him, let's talk about why the rap game is so captivated by him in the first place. Born on December 16th, 2001, a young Kai grew up in an ever-shifting environment as his father working in the military forced him to move often but he would eventually settle back into the Big Apple where he realized how flexible and adaptable he had become from his early years of dynamic surroundings. With his creative spark yeah, and vibrant <laughs> personality, he naturally started making videos on I social media. Like, oh, and don't tell me you're sorry cause you're not. This is your, your fucking chance. Baby, when I know you won't be sorry you got caught. His middle school years marked the birth of his content creation, and he was able to gather a decent sized following on Facebook and Instagram. And with more demand for Kai's videos, he was inspired to make the most important move of his career. I know a lot of y'all been asking me, Kai, where's the YouTube channel? Why don't you have a YouTube channel? You need to start getting paid for what you're doing. Kai, where's the YouTube channel? I got one thing to say. By the time he got into college, he had already built a core fan base, and it was in this period of growth and change that he would meet the AMP crew, changing the course of his life forever. Like many streamers, Kai Sinai was grinding content during the pandemic, and when the year 2021 came, everything truly changed for him. You see, 2021 ushered in a new era of content creation for streamers. We had people like Aiden Ross, who began doing big numbers on Twitch, leading to moments like this one. Is LeBron? LeBron? Yeah, he said, is this LeBron? <laughs> Yo, first of all, I gotta say, gigantic fan. I love crazy. you. <laughs> I, don't, I love you, fanboy. I love you, it's crazy. I love you. You wanna know this man? Nah, it's all respect, man. I appreciate it, man. And look. It's all love and respect for me and my son. That's why, look, listen, me and Beam, we, 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 we got, we got, we, we swept them, and we did it for uh, Cleveland. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Guys like Ninja were also That's making awesome, big man. moves back in the day, playing Fortnite with all the celebrities you can dream of. While these were impressive feats, guys like Aiden were the first to pioneer personality streams and create major consistent connections to the hip hop world, offering mutual benefits to celebs. For example, like like um if a, if a rapper you gotta think like let's say a rapper i'm not saying they fell off but like if a rapper that's not you know on like they used to be right they're still relevant but they're not on on and they come on to my shit which is hot right now and it's right before they drop a single or a project it's like bro it's perfect promotion you yeah. do it and as it turns out he was absolutely right i mean one of the best things to happen to tory lanes in recent years was this freestyle on aiden's stream Witnessing this success, Kai entered the streaming world with an infectious energy and unparalleled creativity. The perfect recipe for major success and hilarious clips. Holy shit. Okay, I'm going to get down on my hands and knees. And I'm going to roll myself into bed. <laughs> 
that's when you're going to get on top of me. And before you know it, he had all your favorite rappers on his stream. Plus, his predictable and unstoppable nature caught the attention of many artists. The very first rapper he had on his stream was Anneli Chapel, who slowly became a very good friend to Kai and even let him use his studio. Since then, he's had many other artists come onto his stream. 21 Savage, Polo G, Ice Spice, Lil Baby, the list goes on. And they're all getting the same benefit of Kai's massive audience. You see, Kai's streams are often getting steady audiences with hundreds of thousands of unique viewers, which are insane stats for a live event. This number of eyes gives Kai marketing leverage. And when artists have tracks, albums, and other products on the way, there's not a better place to get that in front of their target audience. It's very similar to the gimmick of the Fallon Show, and we've already seen artists like Lil Baby and Anneli Choppa promote their merchandise on Kai's stream. Quack, quack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my new shoot, bro, that I'm coming out with, um, they're gonna be here soon. Probably, so they're not even out yet? Not even out yet. And you're the first person, you're the first person that I'm gifting these to. I just wanted to show my pre- if anyone else, if anyone needed these first, bro, it would be you, man. So. Kai's stream also provides these artists the platform to showcase a different side of themselves. Good examples of that would be the time the Barb's queen herself, Nicki Minaj, came onto Kai's Why stream. Why her two times? Are you hungry? No! <laughs> <laughs> or this time when he got the Stone Cold 21 Savage to get a little spooked. Huh? It ain't nothing that's living. Living in, in the, like, the, the old, bro. No, bro, come on, bro. It don't breathe. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't nothing wrong. It seems like there's no reason for an artist not to hop on Kai's stream, but what's in it for him? Well, while the benefits seem like they're only on the artist's side, this couldn't be further from reality. Every time he has one of these huge artists on his stream, multiple viral moments occur, like Offset falling from his chair, or Kaisen not getting rejected by Tyla. Mm -hmm. But we friends, though. You right. Yeah, we friends. You right. <laughs> I, uh, next one. Later in the video, we'll discuss the drama that ensued between these artists with the famous streamer. But at the end of the day, it's interactions like these that allow Kai to continue to farm content, giving him unforgettable moments that he can use as clips, which moves his name further into the mainstream and allows him to rake in more and more profit. And seeing the amount of success it brought, Kai decided to go full throttle, hosting marathon streams with rappers, streams with other internet personalities, Jump up and down, I'm very athletic. Um, you know, I can jump up and down like a key <laughs> 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 And ultimately, putting his name on the top of the streaming world, the Spice Diff competition. Nominees are Queso, Iron Mouse, Jinxie, Kai Sinat, and Quackity. But there could only be one winner. Oh, is that the, as uh, Kaisenat Kato? is established firmly as a household yeah, name and an icon yeah. in the hip hop community, other streamers wouldn't get so lucky and ultimately set themselves up to fail. Looking back at Aiden, most of his best streams came earlier on, like the ones with Polo G and Lil Uzi, but he would soon come to realize that the entire hip hop community wasn't so welcoming. I've already discussed this at length in a video titled Why Hip Hop Doesn't Respect Aiden Ross, right, but I feel on. like it's worth discussing one more time for this video to really show how he differs from Kai when it comes to receiving love from the rap genre. In general, he was labeled as sort of a culture vulture for trying to cement himself with black culture as a white guy, even one time wearing do-rags on stream and straight up saying the N-word. Yeah, but like, that's my thing in this. <laughs> Another thing is that most rappers aren't cool with his approach to humor. Since Aiden's initial popularity stems sense. from him acting sus around rappers, often not sitting well with most of them. Victoria, nigga. Up top. Down low? <laughs> Can you smack me lower next time? It wasn't just his sus antics or poor character that didn't let him progress, but it was the fact that he became widely controversial over time. 
even going as far as hosting Nick Fuentes on his stream. Mm. As someone who the hip-hop community saw as a disgrace for being a neo-Nazi, it turned a lot of people away, while also showing Aiden's lack of morals, literally being Jewish. There's also the fact that he would start to heavily align himself yes. with the infamous Tate brothers, as well as preaching the same ideology as them. And after getting banned from Twitch for being too controversial, Aiden's streams would get worse and worse. He would do things like ask his viewers to do some really weird stuff. He would promote corn to his fans on stream, which consume of mostly kids, what? and also repeatedly promoted gambling to them as well. All of this holds Aiden back from getting to the level that Kai Sinat has attained. And soon enough, rappers would only go on his stream for a quick bag. For example, Aiden once had 21 Savage on stream, where 21 tried to finesse Aiden out of 11 G's in a card game, making him look like a total pushover. You see what I'm saying? You see the little scratch right there? Right there, yeah, the old have scratches on it, bro, the face card. See, this was on face card, doesn't have it, look. Or even more embarrassing, the time that Cardi showed up, got the bag, and left minutes later. These instances and more show the extreme lack of respect that the world of rap holds for Aiden. Whereas someone like Kai gets love from the genre's greatest names. And other streamers like the infamous Neon landed in similar graces with rappers, sometimes lacking enough respect to learn their names. What's going on, bro? What's good there, baby? And even when he does, he can't help acting anything short of embarrassing and corny. I like your chain. You do? Yeah, I got it just for you. Really? I'm so nervous, I'm just gonna be honest. That goddamn you. I know, I know, I'm sorry. Um, oh, that's okay. Fuck. All right. Neon is the kind of streamer who would do anything for some clout. Going the extra mile for attention, even if it means being outright toxic. Unlike Kai Sanat, who actually seems like a person with boundaries. Ever since Kai blew up, he has only seen success after success and gold himself to a standard that most others simply couldn't. Like the time he had Blueface and Christian on his stream. Christian? Oh, yeah. My bad, Chad. Oh, put a hole in my wall. You rich. You can fix it. This moment left viewers stunned, yet Kai handled the situation like a Chad. And everyone was shocked at how he responded to the whole thing. You're rich. You can fix it. Bro, she's disrespectful as fuck. Respect to Kai for being calm. I too commend him, because personally, I would have crashed out for sure. His ability to stay cool in this moment just added to the long list of things that people admire him for. Kai's reputation in the hip-hop and creative industry has only increased, unlike others in the same niche. And his streams with these celebrities have had much greater impact as well. A clear example of this would be the stream Aiden had with Polo G that had about 900k views. Then Kai, on the other hand, pulled a whopping 4 million views, taking a more unique spin by making his video a mukbang and overall improving the viewer experience. Kai's influence has become something that glimpses rivalry with the likes of even Mr. Beast, which forces us to look at just how far his reach has gone and where it's going next. But sometimes, Kai Sana can get on a rapper's bad side too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Earlier, we looked at Kai's audience as marketing leverage, oh, and that's proven to be apparent in social media trends as seen in his relationship with Emily Choppa. When he debuted his song Slut Me Out on Kai's stream, it didn't take long for his track to graze the charts for the first time in a while. But more importantly, find a place on YouTube and TikTok. Meanwhile, you have artists like Glorilla, who got the opposite side of the coin oh, yeah, when Kai's reaction to her song Cha 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 didn't go over too well. Oh, right, so <laughs> that, 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 that. Right, no, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No! I love Glow, bro. I love Glow, but no. I was rolling up the king. Yeah, I'm going to church without sinning. Yeah, smoking out after service. Sure, you can't get, what you mean going to church without you sinning? Bro, what the fuck? Kai's reaction seemed to create a chain of negative reviews in Glow's direction. And she would literally end up blocking him on Instagram just because he didn't like it and brought her a lot of hate. Glow, there's no way you blocked me, bro. See. Wait, I'm going through a burner. Oh, I got you there. Okay, but look, I think I'll start losing myself if 
I start taking money, and obviously a label gonna want to, sit, to want you to say it's nice as fuck. Yes, it's cool. Like it's good. It's, it's nice as fuck. But like. Then, then I'm not being real with y'all. It didn't take long for Glorilla to give her two cents on the situation when Kai's grunts swarmed her stream on IG. Don't come on my lab asking me about no bad that I done block. What the fuck you talking about? Mm -hmm. They blocked and they gonna stay there. You made your bed, you gotta lay there. She later came to regret her decision, seemingly reconsidering her statements on Twitter. But Kai let her know the damage had already been done. Oh, Glorilla. Yeah. You laid your bed, you better stay there. <laughs> However, this situation doesn't compare to the beef that Kai Sanat endured with Amigos' Offset after he wasn't filling his new project. Although Offset appeared on Kai Sanat's stream in September of 2023, they jointly embraced a 24-hour stream together. Mm -hmm. Nigga, goddamn! What the fuck? the victims of Kai Sanat or something like that. Yeah. The chat said they fucked with the script would flip only a couple of months later, when Kai Sanat claimed that he wasn't really filling Offset's new project titled Set It Off. I'm trying to make sure I'm not making this up in my head because I, I feel like I remember some of these. This is called I'm on. I don't know, bro. I feel like it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't like great. Now, put yourself in Offset's shoes. This comes just two months after he did a stream with him for an entire 24 hours, where he showed him nothing but love, created viral moments, and bonded like actual friends. Just for Kai to turn his back on him and disrespect his entire album. Like like with Kai tonight averaging around 80,000 streams every single live he does, alongside the incredible hold that he has over today's youth, it's assumable that if Kai doesn't like something, thousands upon thousands of his fans will tag along with it. And it was abundantly clear that Offset had an issue with Kai not liking his album when it was reported that Offset was flaking on Kai Sanat's prison stream last second. A stream that would literally go down in the history books for one of the yeah, most watched events. Yeah, he's talking about, oh, I come from that, so I'll go step away. was scheduled Lies. to come in today. It pulled out last minute. And then the Joe Button thing. They told me they were going to today. Say, like, today. Pulled out last minute. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll skip it. Definitely check out that reaction if you missed it. It's the victims of Kai Sinat, I'm pretty sure, where he went over the beef with Gorilla, Offset, um, Joe Budden, Kanye. <laughs> but that's just how the industry is. So, yeah, the love-hate title makes a lot of sense because they're all for it when, you know, you like their shit. And you hype it and you say that it's good, then they want to show you love and, you know, all is well. But the moment you give your honest opinion and you're like, mm, I'm not really fucking with this, now it's an issue. So, it's just fake. They expect you to be fake. It doesn't make any sense, but it's how the industry is, unfortunately. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!